Paul Ryan is on the House floor right now uh, making one final uh, pitch for a package he cobbled together with Patty Murray of Washington State, the senator from that fine state, about a package that Mark Levin at the outset of the show said was a disaster, doesn't really do anything, doesn't move the ball. In fact, everything goes backwards. Uh, Republican Congresswoman Michelle Bachman here now on whether she'll vote for it. What do you think, Congresswoman? Well, I think Mark is absolutely right that it doesn't move the ball forward, let's face it. If anything, it's a minuscule step. And I think what it represents, quite frankly, is that both sides decided they didn't want to fight. They wanted to agree. And so they just got the deal done. Now, the good thing is Congress actually has a budget, so that's, that's positive. But does it balance? No. Does it balance in the near term? No. Does it balance in the long term? No. So for Tea Partiers and conservatives, this leaves a lot to, to, uh, to be happy about. But on the other hand, what our real goal is right now is to have an election and make sure we can get people in who are going to deal with the biggest budget killer there is right now, and that's Obamacare. We have to repeal Obamacare. So, so you're voting we'll against this, Congresswoman, just to be clear. Um, and there are a number of your conservative colleagues who are, are, are going to do the same, but the, the word we're getting is that this will likely pass the House oh, it'll and pass. likely it'll pass, pass the Senate. So it'll, It will pass because Nancy Pelosi has come out and she's told her members to embrace this bill. So the, the Democrats will pass it. I think there'll be a strong contingent of Republicans that vote for this, too, because they just want to get it over with. But we have a big fight in front of us with Obamacare, and we have to make the case for why balancing the budget grows jobs and builds this economy. So you don't buy that it when Paul Ryan it. says, uh, uh, Congresswoman, that this puts the focus back where it should be on Obamacare, on spending, so the Democrats can't turn around and say, well, you guys are going to try to shut the government down and, uh, and then pile on you there. You, you don't buy that argument. No, I do. I think Paul's exactly right. I think that Paul d did the best he could with the hand that was dealt him. I give him a lot of kudos and a lot of praise. I think he did a good job, a very good job with what he had. But again, let's recognize what we're getting here. It is a minuscule step. 